Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to this platform. A big thank you to those who are trusting our content. May God bless you. I'm here because of you, and you are here because of me. Let us unite together in growing this platform. If you're watching this video, kindly make sure you click the subscribe button. Do not watch before subscribing. If you want to support Kaka, that is the only way. Click the subscribe button. It is absolutely free. There are no charges. And of course, if you want to be notified next time when I upload a video, click the bell or turn on the notification bell. Kaka, um, Raila Odinga and William Ruto met in Mombasa and uh, they agreed on modalities that will be guiding the dialogue. The modalities is each side to produce five members who will be representing uh, that particular side on the table. As Mio was tasked to name five members and Kenya Kwanza to name five members to make a total of ten members to go and sit so that they can put their issues on the table and if they agree better for Kenyans. If they disagree, still Kenyans are ready to go back to the streets to push for electoral justice and uh, pushing for the high cost of living. Like I know life is getting tough each and every day. Our economy is sinking as basic commodities keep on soaring. In that, Kenyans are living a very hard life, a hand to mouth. Now, I hope, Kaka, that though I don't trust the talks, but I believe they will bear fruits. Personally, I don't trust William Ruto. I don't trust him. You discuss with him today, tomorrow is abusing you on the streets. You see today and agree, tomorrow is shouting and denouncing whatever you discussed. That is his character. You know, everyone was born with a character and that is part of his character. Um, we should learn on how to deal with him. And especially, Baba should be very keen on dealing with the Kenya Kwanzaa. I know, it could be a delay tactic to waste Raila Odinga's time of engaging the citizens of this republic. Now, as Mio has appointed five people who will be leading the talks, led by Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, and this is a press release from uh, Azimio. Azimio Delegation to Dialogue Committee. Further to our statement yesterday, expressing commitment to dialogue, with Kenya Kwanzaa for a speedy and sustainable resolution to the country's problems. And after internal consultation, Azmiola Moja One Kenya Coalition has today named its delegation to the talks as follows. Number one, his Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, who will be the chair, the delegation leader. Number two, the minority whip, Honorable James Opio Wandai, uh, not minority whip, the leader of the minority party in the National Assembly. Number three, Former CS, Honorable Yojin Wamalwa, party leader, DAP. Number four, Honorable Okongo Omogeni, 
Senator Nyamira County. Number 5, Honorable Amina Nyazi. MP Malindi. Our position remains that no party to these negotiations can claim a right to determine for the other what to raise and what not to raise. Azimio, we respect Kenya Kwanza's right to bring all its issues to the table. We expect Kenya Kwanza to do the same with our issues. The issues which the team has instructions to put on the table include the high cost of living, audit of 2022 elections, bipartisan reconstitution of the IEBC, inclusivity in the national affairs, and respect for political parties in line with the 2010 Constitution. Azimio is keen on a time-bound program of talks that should take one month beginning August 1st, 2023, signed Azimio Laumoja, one Kenya last party, the 31st of July, 2023. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, those are the five people jointly selected by the Kenya Kwanza coalition to go and negotiate with Kenya Kwanza. Now, Kaka, I have a reason why I feel the talks might not bear the fruits. I'm not concluding. Maybe, maybe this time round, the Kenya Kwanza will get serious. But look at this scenario. As Miola Umoja is saying, we must discuss the cost of living. Since yesterday, William Ruth has been saying we are not negotiating about the cost of living because Kenya Kwanza has a program of lowering the cost of living. You see the disagreement. As Mio is saying, our first priority is the cost of living. But in Rallis, Ruto is saying we have lowered the cost of living kwa sababu tumepeana mbolea kama Kenya Kwanza. Do you think there is something here in these talks? Honestly, do you think there is something here? Substantive, do you think? Or maybe, or maybe, or maybe, I don't want to speculate, or maybe. Kuna gemu tunachezwa sisi wa Kenya na hawa majama wawili wanaitwa Raila na Ruto. I want to believe so. But then we know Raila has our interest at heart. When Baba negotiates, we know that we have negotiated. When Baba takes a stand, we also take the same stand. When Baba says this is the way, we also say this is the way. We follow. Why? We trust Raila Amolo Odinga as our father. And I believe this time round, whether the talks will bear fruits or not, I believe Baba will stand firm to defend the rights of citizens. And I want to tell Kenyans as always finish in my videos. There is no need for you to abuse your neighbor because it doesn't come from your tribe. There is no need to kill your neighbor because it does not subscribe to your political ideologies.
from today, address your neighbor as my fellow Kenyan. These politicians are cousins. They will disagree finally to agree. And they will agree finally to disagree. Do not kill your neighbor because of a politician. No. Politics shouldn't be that too serious to an extent you want to take your brother's life because of William Ruto, because of Raila, because of I don't know who. No. Let us play mature politics. When we know in Kenya, we only have one tribe. That is Kenyans. Kaka to me, that is the only tribe I know. One, Kenyans. And I know we speak one language. That is our national language, Kiswahili. Mimi apana tambua kikisia, apana tambua kijalu, apana. I know we have one language in Kenya, that is Swahili. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.